The Danger of Candles Placed in Glass Containers. This is based on my personal experience. Having a supply of candles when there is no electricity is a necessity. However, candles in a glass container can be very dangerous, especially pillar candles in glass. In 1999, while I was preparing for Y2K, when the computers were supposed to shut down and there would be no electricity, I bought three cases of pillar candles, which had 12 in each case. They were all in glass containers, just like the one in the picture. I, I tested one candle out, and I think it burned for either about 80 or 100 hours or more. I really can't recall if this is correct since it was decades ago. Well, Y2K never happened, so that brought us to, to the year 2000. We used a pillar candle or two whenever there was a storm and the lights went out. Well, some years later, around 2008, I was burning one in the dining room, on the dining room table, and I heard, a, one, I heard one big pop. A piece of the glass container cracked and broke off from the heat and traveled like a high-speed bullet across the room. If it hit my eye, it would have knocked it out. So I took all the cases of candles and threw them out. I couldn't believe this happened because the glass container surrounding the candle was very thick, but it did. It did happen. These candles are also sold as prayer candles and are decorated with pictures of saints on the outside part of the glass. I have seen people carry these candles in prayer lines, too. These are very dangerous, and this is just my personal opinion. It's up to you whether you want to buy it or not. But um, in my opinion, I wouldn't because I think it's dangerous. I would not recommend using these candles. I also would not recommend using any candles that are in glass containers. The glass might crack and pop off with the heat of the candle and cause your, you bodily harm. Even, uh, if, even if not, the glass could break in other ways. Like you could drop the container with the candle in it and have glass all over the floor and get cut picking it up. I would say to get rid of all your candles that are in glass containers, especially before some type of crisis happens, when you may need them. Also, in regards to glass, I would not recommend acquiring anything made out of glass for a crisis situation. Now, I know you might have, you know, glass, uh, glass jars or uh, glass um, cups to drink out of, and that's, you know, that's up to you, but... I'm trying to convert everything towards uh, stainless steel for use because sometimes you're not going to have electricity, you're going to be in the dark, the glass might fall and break, and you might get hurt. And there may, may, may be no uh, way to get to a doctor in a time of crisis to, uh, if you're injured. So that's my personal opinion, um, and it's up to you to decide, you know, how you want to... Um, conduct your life in a survival situation and what types of candles you'd like to buy. But I converted, um, I got rid of those candles, any pillar candles, any glass containers that um, are used for candles, candle holder, glass candle holders, and I uh, converted everything to um, tea lights, and I, can pu I put tea lights in metal containers, and then I have the uh, pillar, the taper candles, and I put those in, um, well, I bought candelabras that are made out of um, stainless steel, and others are, uh, other candelabras I have are made out of uh, iron, cast iron. So um, that's how I, that's what I'm doing, and uh, this is just a recommendation.